wonderful ones. Today's book is called All About Sharks. Have you ever wondered about sharks? How big do they grow? How sharp are their teeth? What do they eat? Why do they attack people? This book answers all of these questions and more. It's all about sharks. Sharks have been swimming in the oceans for millions of years, and they haven't changed much in all that time. Like their prehistoric ancestors, today sharks are predators that feed on other living things. Sharks inhabit all of the world's oceans. They are most numerous in tropical waters. Worldwide, there are more than 250 species of sharks. Here are the nine most popular species. So here's a whale shark. It is the biggest shark. Mako shark, I think it's the fastest one. Tiger shark, look at its stripes. Nurse sharks, great hammerhead sharks. They're one of the newest sharks. They're only 50 to 60 million years old. Great white shark, everybody's heard of those. A bull shark, they're one of the few sharks that can live in both salt water and fresh water. And the thresher shark, look at that tail. Most sharks are large, powerful, streamlined fish. Each species of shark belongs to a larger group called a family, which includes similar types of sharks. The different families of sharks have distinct shapes. The shark silhouettes on this page represent the four families with the largest number of species in them. So there's the carpet sharks, the hammerhead sharks, the mackerel sharks, and the requiem sharks. The two most unusually shaped sharks are horn sharks and angel sharks. Horn sharks resemble the earliest known sharks. Angel sharks have very flat bodies. Sharks do not have bones. Their skeletons are made entirely of cartilage, the same flexible material that gives shape to human ears and noses. A shark's body is so limber, it can bend around and bite its tail. A shark's mouth also takes water to the gills. That's how they can breathe. There's nostrils. There's the spiracle for taking water to the gills, first dorsal fin, the pectoral fin, the pelvic fin, anal fin, second dorsal fin, and the tail. Sharks also have a lateral line, which helps them sense movement of prey in the water. Here's what a shark can look like from above, and here's what it can look like below. A shark can locate prey by sight or smell, by sensing movement with its lateral line, and by picking up electrical impulses through its sensory pores. Sharks can smell food over great distances. The scent of blood in the water can attract dozens of sharks and trigger a feeding frenzy. Sharks also use their sensory pores to pre-taste food by bumping it with their snouts. Sharks have no eyelids, but many species of sharks have movable, transparent, nicotating membranes that cover and protect the shark's eyes when attacking and eating. Most shark attacks on people occur in shallow water. There is a reason for this. Breaking waves near the shore scoop out the sandy bottom and create gullies. Schools of fish swim in the gullies, and large fish, including sharks, come to feed on them. These gullies are often only a few feet away from the beach. Considering how often sharks swim close to shore, shark attacks on people are amazingly rare. 
as long as a fish's back is mostly underwater, it can swim with ease. This nine foot bull shark is swimming in just two feet of water. Some shark safety tips. Never go in the ocean with an unhealed cut. Wade only where you can see the ocean floor. Avoid murky water. Never go swimming in the ocean at night. Never touch a small or injured shark. It can still bite you. Sharks have 40 to 45 front teeth with up to seven rows of replacement teeth behind them. The replacement teeth move forward whenever a front tooth breaks or becomes worn and falls out. It takes about one day for a replacement tooth to move forward and take its position in the shark's front row of teeth. The teeth of living sharks are pure white. They vary in shape from species to species. Look at all the different shapes. The fossilized teeth of ancient sharks can be black, gray, or brownish, but never white. Fossilized shark teeth also vary in shape according to species and are very similar to the tooth shapes of their relatives living today. Shark teeth collectors hope to find this tooth. This is its actual size. It is from the extinct giant shark known as Cacarodon megalodon. Some species of sharks will occasionally travel in schools but all sharks primarily hunt alone. All sharks tolerate the close company of remoras. Remoras are fish that attach themselves to sharks. They feed on the bits and pieces of prey that float in the water when a shark feeds. A remora attaches itself to a shark by means of a strong suction disc on top of the remora's head. Sharks mate in shallow water where the male fertilizes eggs inside the female's body. Some shark species lay eggs. The female deposits the fertilized eggs amid underwater weeds and grasses. Each egg is inside a tough leathery egg case. Inside the case, a shark embryo is nourished by the egg yolk. When fully developed, a newborn shark breaks out of its egg case. Some sharks are live bearers. The female gives birth to fully developed baby sharks. Each newborn shark is born tail first. All young sharks are called pups. A mother shark can give birth to up to 48 pups. From their first swim, shark pups must fend for themselves. All shark pups are miniature versions of their parents. Young sharks eat mostly small fish and tiny shrimp. Larger sharks eat larger fish, young sea turtles, and floating birds. Great big sharks eat almost anything. Small fish, big fish, birds, sea otters, seals, sea turtles of all sizes, dolphins, baby whales, swimming dogs, people, and even each other. Bottom feeding sharks, such as the nurse shark, horn shark, and angel shark, feed on sea urchins, crabs, and lobsters. They vacuum up food from the ocean floor with their strong sucking mouths. The largest sharks, whale sharks, basking sharks, and megamouth sharks feed almost entirely on microscopic plankton. We are still learning about these mammoth sharks. We will learn more about all sharks as we overcome our fear and gain a better understanding of their life in the sea. If you're interested in more about sharks, there is a man who has a YouTube video called The Malibu Artist, and he records great white sharks with his drone, as well as sometimes other sharks. I highly recommend it if you want to learn. Take care, friends.